हेलो टू वन एंड ऑल स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू द सेवेंथ इंग्लिश सो फ्रॉम द सेवेंथ इंग्लिश टेक्स्ट बुक आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू द पोएम चिल्ड्रन फ्रॉम द पेज नंबर सिक्सटीन एवरीबडी शुड ओपन द पेज नंबर सिक्सटीन सो फ्रॉम द पेज नंबर सिक्सटीन देर इज ए पोएम चिल्ड्रन यस द आई हैव मैंशन द टाइटल हि द टाउन चाइल्ड द टाउन चाइल्ड इज अवर टाइटल दैट इज द टाइटल ऑफ द पोएम चिल्ड्रन राइट सो हि आर ऑल आई टू सी द पिक्चर नो From the page number six, we see the picture. What is given? One boy, one childish. Uh, the picture of the child is shown here, and he is thinking about and he is dreaming about the some. Um, he is dreaming about the climate of the uh, village, right? From the country children, right? So we have started the poem. Everybody should look into the next book. I will read the poem. After reading the poem, I will do the. Uh, I will explain the poem each and every word, right? Children? So the town child. We have two poems here. The town child and the country child. First of all, we will finish it off the town child. What the town child is thinking, being in town, and what he is thinking, right? Let us see it. I live in the town in a street. It is crowded with traffic and feet. There are buses and motors and trams. I wish there will there were meadows and lamps. The houses all wait in a row. There is smoke everywhere. that i go i don't like the noises i hear i wish there were woods very near there is only one thing that i love and that is the sky far above there is plenty of room in the blue for castles of clouds and me too okay children so right this is the poem children and the and the name of the poet is the name of the poet right the name of the poet i will write here Iron, I R E N E, I R E N E, Iron. Thompson, T H O M P, Tom, yes, O M. This is the pronunciation, children. Iron Thompson. So he is the poet of this poem, right? Okay, children. Let us start the explanation here. The town child. So in this poem, he is talking, he is speaking about the town child. Being in town, being in the city, what the child is thinking? So just he is imagining the climate of the village or climate of the country. Also, we can tell you. We have come across that the town mouse and the country mouse. No, in the same way, country mouse is nothing but country is nothing but the village. Okay, one meaning also you can see children. The meaning of the um, the meaning of the country is given in the page number six. Village or an area outside towns or cities. With fields and farms, okay, the area which consists of fields and farms that is called the country children. Now he is thinking about being in town. He is thinking about the countryside. What he is thinking? I live. In, he is telling that I live in the town in a street where the child is living. The child. All are able to see. No, here down. All are able to see. Yes, right children. So here he lives in the town in a street. In the town he used to live in the street. Street is nothing but the colony. You can tell gully. You will tell another children. Like that. So I live in the town in the street. It is crowded with traffic and feet. It is crowded. It is fully rush. Crowded is nothing but it is fully rush with traffic, children. Traffic is nothing but traffic includes all vehicles. Okay, people. Okay, right. So here <clears throat> it is crowded with traffic and feet. The meaning of word feet is given. Feet is nothing but here people who walk in street. Okay. So it is a fully crowded with traffic and feet. Feet is nothing but the people who are walking, the people who are walking on the roads. They are called the feet, right? There are buses and motors and trams. There are buses and motors. Motors are nothing but motor bikes. We can call it called buses, RTC buses or whatever it may be. There are buses and motors and trams. Trams meaning is given in the glossary. Trams are nothing but an electric vehicle that transport people in cities. RTC buses you can tell children. Okay, RTC buses you can tell no. So they are called the trams. So the meaning of tram. What is given? Electric vehicle that transport people in cities. Right. So in the cities we are going to see, you know, what we are going to see the uh, bullet trains we are going to see, right? So in the same way, but it will work on the track. Here in the vehicles are uh, the vehicles also work on the tracks. The track is consist of uh, consist at which place uh, in the towns, right? I wish there were meadows and lamps. I wish 
there were widows i wish that boy being in town this boy is wishing to what's in he is wishing that uh, what is wishing i wish there were meadows meadows are nothing but a field with grass and often wild flowers he wish he is thinking that uh, there might be a uh, wherever i am living now he is living that on he is wishing that he used to want the grass and the wild flowers you know okay i wish there were there at which place i wish there were in my town there might be a flowers wild flowers and a grass and a lamb so lambs are nothing but children uh, sheep a young sheep we are going to come young sheep where the farm where are the farms will occur the farming will farm in the villages only countryside only yes or no why because it is a very suitable for the people to graze for the sheep yes sir e e p children sheep yes sir chai please you got the difference between sheep and sheep okay sheep is nothing but the animal sheep is which floats on the sea okay which floats on the sea right so i wish they were meadows meadows means i have told the meaning no what are the meaning of meadows i wish they were meadows meadows are nothing but a grass or wild flowers next one i wish there were meadows and lambs he needed uh, he wants that to, he is wishing to have this uh, farming that means the uh, lambs and the meadows in the town but it is impossible it is impossible to have this all the houses all wait in a row how the houses will be in the cities uh, place children in the cities and town the all the houses will be constructed in a row only in a straight way in a straight way right so the houses all wait in a row there is smoke everywhere that i go wherever he goes children they wherever he goes he will be finding the smoke only he will be finding the smoke there right there are sorry there is smoke everywhere that i go i don't like the noises i hear okay whatever the house, uh, noises are coming from the vehicles okay whatever the noises are coming from the vehicles from the batteries from the trains or whatever it may be so he, he doesn't like that uh, noise i don't like the noises i hear next i wish there were woods very near i wish again he is wishing what to he don't like the climate of the town only but he is wishing to have these things what are those things i wish there were woods very near woods are nothing but forest children woods is nothing but plants and uh, trees okay so mostly you will not find the plants and trees in the cities yes or no but he is wishing to have this all the thing it is impossible yes or no right there is only one thing that i love being in town he loves only one thing what is the thing he loves children he love there is only one thing that i love what is the thing there is plenty of room in the blue see there is plenty of room in the blue that means in the sky if you observe in the sky he find that many rooms are there in the sky he look up into the sky how is the sky children during the day time it is blue in color right so during the uh, day time it looks blue in color so he found plenty of rooms in that uh, sky right for castle of clouds and me too okay for castles of clouds and me too castle meaning is given children castle is given a large strong building so for castles of clouds whatever the clouds he see no uh, in the sky so there that clouds are looking like a tallest building children okay whatever the clouds he observe in the sky that clouds are so clouds these clouds are looking like a big stone building children big stone building and in the blue sky he is able to see that different types of rooms okay different plenty of rooms he used to see for castle of clouds and me too okay so in that rooms in the stone building he is saying like that he is thinking okay children only one thing he likes in this poem uh, in this stanza yeah. only one thing he likes to be in the town what is that whenever he sees in the sky he looks at the, there are plenty of rooms and the clouds are looking like a big stone building okay children this is the poem about the town child actually this town child poem is given to give the information that uh, actually this child want to be in the village that means countryside so that he is explaining more importance he is given to the what for the woods for the tall trees he has given right children now based on that only the same poet that is iron thompson has written another poem about the child who is living in the who is living in the countryside okay so he in the first poem he has written, written about the town child 
town the boy the child who is living in the town now he is writing about the child the child who is living in the country the country the country child okay the country child now we are going to discuss about the second poem children that is the country child the poet is same ayu thompson he has given the differences between the child uh, the country child and the town child now we are discussing about the country child now in the same way a child is there who is living in the country who is living in the village and he is thinking about the town side okay town about the town he is thinking now let us start reading the poem children once then afterwards i will give the explanation right my home is a house near a wood i would i had uh, i would live in a street if i could the lanes are so quiet oh dear i do wish that someone lived near there is no one to play with at all the trees are so high and so tall and i should be lonely for hours where it not for the birds and the flowers i wish that i lived in a town to see all the trams going down a twinkling street that is bright with wonderful flowers sorry with wonderful flower colors at night okay let us go to the explanation children everybody saw the textbook no i have read the poem once again if you want if you want i will read once again everybody look into the textbook children my home is a house near a wood okay i had lived in a street if i could i had lived in a street if i could the lanes are so, so quiet oh dear i do wish that someone lived near there is no one to play with at all the trees are so high and so tall and i should be lonely for hours where is not for the birds and the flowers i wish that i lived in a town to see all the trams going down a pink thing street that is bright with wonderful colors at night okay children now goes to the explanation see here the child the country child the, the child who is living in the village he is telling that my house is a home yes or no when my house is a home near a wood near a wood is nothing but near the forest i think children yes you will find when you go to the village the the area of the village will be small and the remaining area is covered with the wood only that means with the forest area only right many trees you will find there wood is nothing but many trees you will find my house is a my home is a house near a wood i had lived in the street if i could so he is living in the village and he is thinking about the street uh, town children i i had lived in a street if i could the lanes are so quiet the lane the lanes are nothing but the lanes are nothing but road children lane meaning is a narrow road in the countryside or in a town okay a narrow road is there narrow road that means you will see no road children it will be a very lengthy narrow a narrow road the meaning of lanes is a narrow road in the countryside or in a town so you will find the narrow road every everywhere children, in the country and in the town right so it is one type of narrow road the lanes are so quiet that means the roads are very quiet oh dear i do wish that someone lived near okay so he is wishing not to be in the town what he is telling he wanted that somebody wants to live with him near to his home that is telling i do wish that someone lived near there is no one to play with at all okay why because this boy is wishing i don't have anyone near to me why because i don't have anyone to play with them right there is no one to play with at all the trees are so high what the child is telling the trees are so high okay chill and you will find now many trees in the village side in the forest okay so when you find the trees the length of the trees the height of the trees will be very short no they are very tall in the they are the oldest trees which has planted their ancestors right so the trees are so high and so tall they are high and they are tall and i should i should be lonely for hours so no one is there with him to play so he used to be lonely for many hours so he doesn't like that living lonely children he doesn't like he don't have any friend he don't, doesn't like to sit lonely and i shall i should be lonely for hours ways not for the birds and the flowers okay here the boy is sitting lonely but here birds and the flowers are not they are not quite okay if there are many tallest trees and the lengthiest trees means so there will be the birds children why the birds will gather on the trees to uh, to eat the fruits 
okay to eat the fruits to have their shade to construct their nest yes or no and here they are very busy the birds are busy and the flowers also so the flowers what they will do where the flowers will go children mostly the flowers will grow uh, on the trees only on the plants in the trees right so he is telling i was lonely here but here the birds and the flowers are not lonely okay i wish that i lived in a town i wish he wanted he is wishing that i wanted to live in a town for what purpose you learn for what purpose let us see here i wish that i lived in a town to see all the trams going down okay only for simple reason he wanted to live in the town what is the reason he wanted to see the tram trams are nothing but vehicles okay vehicles engines or whatever it may be auto um, motor cars or whatever it may be to see all the trams vehicles going down a twinkling street that is bright twinkling twinkling means a light table okay lights you know full of lights during the evening time during the evening time, when when there is a Six, uh, seven or eight. During that time, all the lights are on. No children in the street. When the lights are on in the street, the street is began to twinkle. Okay, how the stars will twinkle? No. Okay, blinking like that. So, a twinkling street that is bright. That is bright with wonderful colors at the night. So, children in the cities you will find no. Mostly you will find big big uh, stores building. Yes. you will find the shopping malls and you will find the accessory mobile shops or whatever it may be and how the shops and the buildings are decorated and they are decorated with the uh, colorful lights all these colorful lights are getting attractive to this boy so for that purpose he wanted to live in the town side so he has one he had one wish the country child had one wish to live to see what to see the vehicles to see the vehicles and to see the twinkling lights during the night time Okay, how the lights are there? They are very colorful. So that he wants to, uh, there he wants to live, children. So this is the poem. So the poet of this poem is Irene Thompson. He has told the differences between the uh, between the town child and the country child. What the town child is thinking? The town child is thinking about the country child and countryside, and the country child is thinking about the town side. Okay. So this is the difference he has explained in our poem, children. right so this is the poem and meanings are given so what are the meanings i have explained in the uh, poem itself feet y a p e t feet everybody has the feet no feet is nothing but here in the poem the meaning is given in the poem people who walk in streets the people who are walking in the street next one tram tram is nothing but an electric Vehicle that transport people in cities. Electric vehicle, children. The vehicle which runs with the electricity. Have you seen? Mostly we see in the abroad, foreign areas. Okay, that we are that vehicles are running with the electricity. Yes, like how our electric trains are running, no? Like that. An electric vehicle that transport people in cities. These vehicles are simply they are not roaming. They are just transporting. We have RTC buses, right? There you will find the um, vehicles that transport in the cities. Next one, meadow. Meadow is nothing but a field with grass and often wild flowers. A field it means an area which is covered with grass and wild flowers. Wild flowers are nothing but the flowers which grow in the forest, right? Next, castle. A large, strong building. Castle is a long, a strong building. Here, castle. These words, this word we find in the. Town child, the town child poem we found. Okay, so by seeing in the sky, he is thinking that uh, there are castles, a large, strong building. By seeing the clouds, he is thinking that they are not the clouds. They are seeing look like the large, strong buildings. Lane, a narrow road in the countryside or in a town. Lane. Have you seen children in the picture? It is shown here, seventy page number. Okay, a narrow road is seen. Next one, twinkling, shining strongly and then weakly, strongly, weakly, strongly, blinking. You are going to call blinking also. You can call it. You can call blinking or twinkling also. You can tell children. So these are the meanings from this poem. Next one. Uh, go to the ninth question, children. From the question answers, ninth question. Pick out the rhyming words from both the poem. The first one is done for you. Yes, I am going to write the rhyming words on here. Everybody should note down here. Text of text of children. So what are the rhyming words here? The rhyming words are. First one is go, go, row, R O W row. Next one is here, here, near, 
near near next one bright bright night night blue blue two blue two hours hours flowers flowers one more and right here near near dear near dear okay so these are the how many are there one two three four five and six six rhyming words are there children already it is done for you go row remaining i have written on the blackboard everybody should note down in your textbook children right uh, so we have completed the poem as poem the common child and the country child remaining part of the uh, lesson remaining next to Listen, I will explain you in the next class. Bye.